A new research paper strengthens the standard model of particle physics' explanation for how the universe works. It sheds light on the properties of neutrinos, the second most abundant particle in the cosmos, and rejects more recent research that questions the standard model. Neutrinos are constantly being created in the nuclear reactions that power the stars, in radioactive decays and in nuclear power stations. What's so interesting about neutrinos is that unlike all the other standard model particles, the neutrinos are actually not behaving the way that we expect. One of the questions that we have out there is, is there an extra neutrino? In the standard model, there are three types of neutrinos, electron, muon and tau. However, previous experiments have suggested a fourth type, a sterile neutrino. The existence of sterile neutrinos would force scientists to rethink their understanding of how the universe is put together. The study published in the journal Physical Review Letters sought to find evidence of the existence of a sterile neutrino. The researchers say that the only way to detect a neutrino is to catch it in the act of transforming into one of the other types. It turns out that it is more likely to morph into a sterile neutrino if it goes through a very dense region of matter. And so the core is ideal for producing much more morphing than you would get if for the neutrinos that do not travel through the core. And so what we're looking for is we're looking for neutrinos that are on the trajectory that comes through the core to disappear. They took a year's worth of data, or about 100,000 neutrino events. The scientists did this by using the IceCube Neutrino Observatory in Antarctica. It has more than 5,000 light-detecting sensors buried in ice more than a mile beneath the South Pole. After analysing the data, the scientists concluded with 99% certainty that the sterile neutrino does not exist. We did not find sterile neutrinos. However, we can't rule them out completely. But what we can say is that if the anomalies 20 or 30 years ago were caused by sterile neutrinos, we would, ex we would have expected to see a signal in our detector, and we did not see one. The paper may largely put to rest the notion of the fourth type of neutrino, but it doesn't bridge the gap in theory that led to the possibility of the particle's existence, say the scientists.